Hey, Jim, how you doing, man? Awesome. Good to talk with you. Yeah, man. So Rock Chuck Olympics. It was a good time. I had no idea what this event was going to be before we got there. So I arrived a new, okay, media event. I'm going to get to hang out with you guys. That's great. I kind of knew almost everybody there. So I thought, oh, this, this is going to be awesome. Good, good event. And then I show up and they're like, oh, this is a shooting competition. And you'll just be shooting against two world champions plus some other awesome shooters. They're like, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. So anyway, I want to get your reaction on the hidden rock chucks. Oh, uh, this was a fun stage. I've never done anything of the like, so I had a ton of fun. And we all had different strategies going into it, which uh, some of them paid off and some of them did not. Yeah, my strategy going in, I I was dead last on this, and we didn't get to see the you know the the route, the stage that we were shooting. But I did get to hear everybody, and you could hear how far apart the, the shots were, how long their time was, things like that. And everybody was running it in like two minutes, like way fast, and, but missing quite a lot. And so, okay, I'm going to take my time here because nobody was even close to, to timing out. And so that was my strategy going in while wearing a shirt that was like three sizes too big. All right, Jim, stage one hidden rock trucks. What are you feeling? I'm feeling excited. I'm just ready to shoot. This gun is freaking sick looking. You're way and I'm too ready excited to put about it that gun. Awesome. Oh, it was so cool. That's the Stag Arm Spectrum. It, oh man, it is beautiful. Your time starts. So now. talk me through what's going on here. Well, so again, because everybody was going so fast, I was not hurrying at all. And I was kind of focused on not running between shots here to keep my heart rate down low because I thought, oh, if I've got the time, I'm going to just take it easy and chill. That ended up biting me by the end. So I'm, you know, I'm just giving a little old man shuffle here between stages. I'd sh I've shot, you know, NRL Hunter before, and I've even been to a, you know, a, a course on long ra on uh, NRL Hunter. And so I kind of feel like I'm not horrible at that game. Um, but man, I struggled mightily with target identification here. Um, the, the targets are pretty small, little rock chucks. But you're always just looking for the T-post on those targets. You know, there's one unnaturally straight line. And in nature, you rarely see a perfectly straight line. So you're looking for the little piece of, of bar that's holding up the targets. But there was so much foliage everywhere that, man, I could just not spot a couple of those. Did you have a hard time spotting some of the targets? That second one gave me trouble as well. Man, it was much harder than what I was used to. That or I was just bad that day. There I am. Yeah, it's. I'm like, where is it? Zoom out. Hurry, Jim. This is getting embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, and at some point, the the taking it slow starts to worry, doesn't it? You go, man, I might just run out of time here. Right, and I thought about skipping stages, but again, everybody else was so fast. I should have asked for my time. Uh, but I don't want to be that guy. You know, every time you go to a competition, there's that guy who's like every 10 seconds he's asking the RO. He's like, time, time, time. Give me my time. I didn't want to be that guy. And so I didn't ask. And I really should have uh, just to kind of get a get an idea halfway through. You only would take two shots, hit or miss at every target. Mm -hmm. Do you wish you could take that back? Well, I, it was that we didn't know what the stage was going to be, and so we had no idea if the next targets were going to be even harder than what you were shooting now. And I, I remember as I looked at the start of the stage, the canyon kind of opened up and got wider, um, and so I thought if we're shooting side to side, the shots could get longer and harder as we go. And so I, I didn't want to... I, I don't know. I, so I wondered anyway about taking more shots at some of those that I really should have hit and just whiffed, you know. But uh, I, I decided, no, I'm just going to take two at each because I really don't know what's coming up. There I am messing with the mag ring again. I, normally, you know, you wouldn't really zoom in and out hardly at all in something like this. Mostly, I was trying to identify the targets, and there were, you know, little stumps and things, and I couldn't quite tell if it was. They they did a good job kind of hiding some of the T-posts with some foliage, and so it was just hard to tell for sure if that was the target. 
there were a couple that uh, I I was standing looking at, and you couldn't actually see the target from a standing position. And as soon as I kind of bent down and went low, it was like, oh, it was like it was obvious. It was easy to see. Um, I, I my hit rate was pretty decent at the ones that uh, I spotted. The real problem was was kind of the the time. The optic was awesome. I can't remember the magnification range. It was an Athlon optic, one to four, and it was. It was awesome, honestly, for shooting. We shot some targets, I guess, on another stage much further than this uh, with that AR, AR and four power is great. The one you have not engaged. So what was what was going on here? Were you looking at the wrong one? Uh, yeah, well, there were th so there were three targets, if I remember right, in this valley, and they had just like a little you know landscaping flag like normal uh, to kind of point you in the area. Um, but it, the flag was like honestly kind of between two and so it was not clear and so I took a minute because I didn't want to sh if I engaged the wrong target obviously it's not gonna not gonna work so uh, that's what was taking me in a little extra minute there is it wasn't quite clear which one we were shooting at which is you know pretty common when you're shooting uh, competitions that uh, it, it, it sometimes isn't totally clear and you just got to communicate and say you know is it this one is it that one um, which I should have done instead. I tried to figure it out. Oh, and then the time hits zero. It was really cool shooting 223 in a in a situation like this. You know, usually in RL Hunter, you're shooting much longer distances. Nobody's shooting at 223. You know, it's kind of 6.5 Creedmoor and up kind of game. Uh, so it was fun to do that on a slightly compressed range uh, with, with an AR. It was kind of cool. The next stage is pistol. And... Obviously, we're going to go against the Pistol World Champion. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it was it was interesting. I when I we just knew a tiny bit about the stages, and I thought this first stage, I thought that's probably going to be my game. Um, and I did the worst on that first stage, and some of them that were way outside my wheelhouse, I, I did better on than I would have expected. But the one where I, man, I felt like I should have done okay. I really bonked that stage. Yeah, it was so ugly on that one. Uh, that's the one I should have done well. And so the rest of the competition, I was just digging out of that hole that I created on the very first stage. I just, if I wish we would have had a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for being here. And uh, I will see you next time. Keep them centered. Good talking with you.